Good morning. It's a wonderful and new day in Jerusalem. It's summer, March 2023. 20, ah, it's unbelievable. But I'm next to Damascus Gate and this tour will be a different tour. I, it's my the first time that I'm taking that tour. It's about the moat of Jerusalem. Are you ready for it? Let's do it. Now, first of all, I'm so sorry that the sun is in our eyes, but you can see that we are next to Damascus Gate, one of the eight gates of Jerusalem, and the most beautiful gate of Jerusalem. Just to show you that everything that you see here, oh, just to, I'm telling you that everything that you see here is from 16th century, but there's always but. Ah, oh, I cannot see. Yeah. The lower part, the arch that you see to the left and the um, beneath the main entrance is from 2nd century. This is from Adrian time. It's part of a, a triumph arch that he built uh, here. At that time, there was no walls at Jerusalem, um, but since Adrian punished the Jews that rebelled against him, and he changed the name of Jerusalem to Aliyah Capitolina and changed the name of Israel to Palestine. Now you know what is the organ of Palestine. Sadly, I'm here at the last days that the moat used to be open. Um, but I want you to understand that I'm taking you not to the 21st century. I'm not taking you to the 16th century. I'm taking you to the 10th century, uh, we are talking about Muslim control that city at that time. Uh, they came here at the 7th century, 10th century, century, it's still a Muslim place, and um, uh, it's ended at the 11th century when the Crusaders came to here. Now, what I want you to understand that. They wanted to renovate the road. You see that it's very block road. And in that case, they um, uh, in, in Jerusalem, before you're doing something, you must excavate. And when they excavated here, they found a moat. Not later than the 10th century, maybe a little bit before the 10th century, but it's from the Muslim time. Uh, the moat was so huge. It was. 10 meters, 30 feet wide, then in a way, every part of the road was part of the moat, and uh, it was between 2 to 7 meters uh, deep. Let's say 2, it's like 6 to 21 feet deep. Then you can understand how big it is. Sadly, they are covering now, but as you can see, the building kind of, a, I call it a theological um, monument. Then if in the future you want to do something with it, it will be easier for you to open it and to excavate it, or at least to, I don't know, um, document it too, if you will find something important. Then in the way, you are part of the wall, uh, the moat that was covered every part of the city all around the city um, I'm taking you back to the 16 uh, sorry to the 10th century the wall that you see here is from the 16th century built by Suleiman the Magnificent and it is but the wall that um, the 10th century was much bigger and tougher than that um, before we will continue, you can see the two domes of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And uh, if you are watching my videos, and please you do that, you know that I am telling you everything that I know. Then in that case, there are two tombs of Jesus in Jerusalem. This is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, very famous by most, if not 90% of the Christians. And they believe that this is the place. But I want you to see the other, uh, the other option, which is outside the wall, because you know that Jesus was crucified outside the wall um, and buried outside the wall. But that wall is only 16th century. And that wall that used to be you know, rich here or bigger than that 
is from uh, 10th century uh, and you saw the triumph arch at the second century but Jesus is first century then um, what is the real thing I don't know um, then let's walk a little bit uh, next to the moat and you can see here the walls of the city um, when the crusader came here at the beginning of the 11th century 1099 AD they had a problem it's a huge moat wasn't full with uh, uh, water it was a dry wall a moat not like you know in all the beautiful um, crusading movies in Europe water is a problem here yeah? um, but you know it was difficult to cross it. it took them five weeks to cross the moat that we are looking at and this is only part of it uh, soon when we reach there oh wait wait I want you to see the second option of the of Jesus tomb what we will see is part of the Golgotha Golgotha Calvary right there and uh, next to it it's a beautiful garden of Joseph over the Mitia. it's called the garden tomb and I just uploaded a video of it uh, with uh, a private tour that I took and if you're talking about private tour if you need a tour guide I'm here for you and if you want I will take a video at least one video of your tour and upload it to YouTube and you will have a memory for the rest of your life then it took the Crusaders uh, five weeks to cross the moat only the moat and you can understand how difficult it was because the moat was very wide wider than what you see here and very deep and uh, and uh, Muslims and even the Jews tried to stop them from entering the city but the northern part is the most difficult, easiest, actually the easiest part or option to occupy the city. Um, it's, that place is quite high compared to the rest of the places. But the moat here was very massive. It took the Crusaders a few months to occupy the city, but five weeks only to cross the moat. Oh, I want to show you. I want to, you to see something, uh, because I knew that they already started to cover it. But still you can see the remains of the path of it. And let me show you two pictures of how it actually looked like. Then let me just reach the table, <laughs> kind of a table for me. Let me take it out. Mm -hmm. oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Wait a minute. Let me organize it. That. Wait. The first picture is of um, excavating the moat which was, remember, right there. But the secret is actually about that. They found um, a hand. Um, and part of the moat, it was somewhere there. And that was a riddle, because we didn't know uh, if, they, if someone did it because he you make fun of it, or just for fun, or it's, it's maybe it symbolizes something uh, for right now, for 2023. We don't know the answer. Then there it is. Then, my guys, uh, you know what? Let's continue until um, the next gate. You saw the the message gate. Let's look at the other gate. Uh, which is the flower gate or the other gate um, I forgot to mention that the Damascus gate that you see here Damascus is in English the Arabic 
the Muslims call it, no, actually the Arabs, they are Christians in the Arab society, I call it Bab el Amud, the gate of the column, of the pillar. And uh, remember that you saw a little bit of the ancient um, triumph arch, and in that case, um, at, at the front of it there was a column with the statue of um, Caesar Herodion. Sorry, from uh, the second uh, century. Then, in that case, this is at the second uh, uh, gate of Jerusalem at the northern part. There's another one that's called the New Gate. I think you already know that gate. Uh, you enter to the city for so many times from that gate. Then, in that case, you know that place as well. Now, listen, my friends. If it's the first time that you're watching my videos and you like it, let me remind you that I do have around 20,000 videos of the Holy Land. Then please subscribe my channel. If you want to support me I will, and my channel, I will be more than happy because uh, that actually gives me the energy to say no to groups and to guide you. How can you do that? No, not a problem at all. At the description of the video, you will see buy me a coffee or a PayPal link. And lately, at um, beneath the uh, video, where you are pushing the like, next to it you will see a heart with a dollar sign in it. And uh, this is a new option uh, to help that um, channel uh, via YouTube itself. Then it is. Now, thank you very much for being with me. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.